Viva Las Villegas! Good evening and welcome to Viva Las Villegas! It's your favorite host, Ralph. And today's guests are the newest internet sensation, the Hildegardians of the Galaxy. They started trending on Twitter when the famous stars like Kim Kardashian was, Justin Bieber, and the Redman Rock retweeted their most recent nursing tips. Let's welcome them in! It's so great that we were able to be here on this show. Honestly, Ralph, I watch your show like every night after my shift. Uh, it's great to hear that. But first, how do you come up with this extremely witty name of the Hildegardians of the Galaxy? Well, the brand of our nursing team actually came from the name Hildegard of Dr. Hildegard Peplau. Uh, Peplau? No, no, just Peplau. Uh, okay. <laughs> so tell us, what's so special about this Dr. Peplau? Hildegard Peplau is actually the genius behind our team's actions. We apply her theory, interpersonal relations theory, that emphasizes the nurse-patient relationship as the foundation of nursing practice. Don't forget that relations should be something we all avoid during this pandemic. But please, do tell us more about them. Well, her theory basically focuses on the give and take relationship between a nurse and their patients. So it's like a partnership instead of things just going our one way, you know? That's true love right there, isn't it, folks? <laughs> yeah, of, yeah. But in this relationship, Ralph, there's actually four phases into it. We have the orientation, identification, exploitation, and the last one, we have the resolution phase. Oh my, that sounds a bit complicated there. Hildegard the Nurse, could you break it down for us? Well, of course. So the orientation phase involves the nurse providing patients with necessary information and answers to their questions. Then, in the identification phase, a patient literally identifies the nurse helping them and no longer feels helpless as the patient and nurse are now working together. During the expectation phase, the patient makes full use of the assistance from the relationship with the nurse. And finally, we have the last phase, which is the resolution. It is when the patient no longer needs nursing service, and so the relationship ends. Oh, of course, all good things must come to an end. <laughs> Anyways, what better way for our brilliant guests to showcase how they apply those nursing concepts than by having a live call with their best patients? We'll hear all about what happened right after this commercial break. Hey you guys, it's Jam and Jewel here. So, since COVID-19 has been ever-present in our country, I will teach you on how to wash your hands properly to get rid of the germs and the virus. First, of course, put your hands under the faucet to get some water. Then, rub your hands with soap, normally like this. Then, lace your fingers together to clean the back and the sides of your fingers. Hold your hands together like this. Clean your thumbs by doing this. After, focus on cleaning your palms and do this circular motion. Move to your wrist like this. Then, you can wash the soap from your hands. Don't forget to use your elbows to close the water. And dry your hands with a new and clean paper or hand towel. But how do I make sure that all the tiny bacteria are gone? Well, of course, I use ChefGuard. It kills 99.9% .9 of germs. We must do our part for all of us to be safe from COVID. Wear your mask and stay safe, you guys. Jam and Jewel out! And we're back in Viva Las Villegas with our guests, Hildegardians of the Galaxy. We'll now 
be having a live call conference between our nurses here and their past patients. Let us welcome these two patients and have personal experience nursing care from our valued guests. Good evening everyone and to you too, Ralph. Hey, hi, thank you so much for having us. Thanks for being here. As you can see, we have with us your previous nurses from the Hilti Guardians of the Galaxy. Could you tell us about the situation that landed you in the care of these lovely nurses? It was a long ago when I suddenly felt pain in my lower back region. So I went to the hospital. Turns out, I needed to get admitted and was even given pelvic traction. What was that? Attraction? Yeah, it's a huge metal apparatus they place in the bottom part of the body. You can't move with it or even walk in it. It's really difficult to move. Oof! What caused your injury in the first place? It was probably from one of my basketball injuries, which I didn't really pay attention to. But because of that, I was on strict bed rest for the first few days and had nothing else to do except to start talking with the nurses who came in to check on me. <laughs> that must have been awkward at first. <laughs> It was actually, but I was so bored already. I had no choice. After talking and incurring with the nurses about my serious concerns, we started to set tiny goals for me. We planned what I had to do to improve my condition, like walking exercises. So after a while, I was able to start walking with the aid of the nurse. I also remember having breathing exercises for my respiratory muscles, as well as massages to help my circulation. And after a few months, I finally got better. Well, physically, but like my basketball skills like still need a little bit of work. <laughs> wow. Either way, that was an amazing recovery. Well, yeah, but then I had to say goodbye to all the nurses in the hospital, which is a really hard and sad time for me, since they were my personal company for months. But as you can see now, I still keep in touch with them from time to time. It's true that it's kind of hard when the interpersonal relationship comes to an end. But we as nurses can confidently say that throughout the relationship, we were able to apply the four phases of Peplau's theory all the way to the end. Definitely. Anyone can tell while we were helping Sir Zamora. We began with the orientation phase and then the identification to set goals. The expectation to do actions in achieving those goals and finally, the resolution phase where our patient already got better. What a wonderful story to hear! What about you, sir? My case was very different from Zamora's situation. In fact, I only got close to the Hilde Guardians during the quarantine period. I may not look much, but I'm actually a COVID-19 survivor. Round of applause, people! How brave of you to come and tell us about this! That's true. COVID-19 patients face so much discrimination. Like literally nobody wanted to go near me or even talk to me. I understand people's precautions, but it made it difficult for me to get better since I felt lonely. What happened to your parents or siblings? I specifically told them to stay at home I didn't want them to catch the virus because of me, you know. Aww. How sweet to hear. But then, how are you able to do it without their support? Well, I called them every night. But what really helped me was my nurses, the healthy guardians. They would talk to me and accompany me when I felt lonely. It was a really big help to me. Of course, they helped me with all the other things, like technical and medical stuff like what to do especially in the healing process but it was truly really nothing compared to the emotional and psychological support they gave me it was such a therapeutic interaction where i was learning and growing from the knowledge and care of the nurses well it is the major idea behind our theory to establish a relationship with our patients through the four phases so that's what we always aim to do besides making sure our patients get better of course <laughs> <laughs> wow! So it seems like the nurses are incredible multitaskers. They have so many roles more than just medically, right? That's true. In fact, Miss Yap, one of my nurses, told me that nurses have resource roles, teaching roles, counseling roles, 
Hobbes, Harrogate, Rawls, and many more because they follow the theory of Hildegard of Love. But I'm glad you still remember that, Mr. Tavares. These roles are actually the side concepts of Peplau's theory. The role that I played while treating Sir Tabaras was mostly the teacher role in informing him what not to do while his body was still weak. I also applied the counselor role so that he was encouraged to share his emotions about his current state. Well, that is indeed amazing, don't you think? Indeed, nurses really do make a whole lot of a difference. I couldn't agree more. Thank you again to the Hilde Guardians for everything. I definitely wouldn't be here where I am today without you. These Hilde Guardians of the Galaxy have been proven to be not just intellectual, but also excellent in, the, in their practices as well. Don't forget to give their Twitter and Facebook page a like and to follow to learn more about this team that will surely take the nursing world by storm. Well, our team is more than happy to do our duty as Gary nurses and continue giving hope to the people of the world. And thanks again for having us here, Al. And that's it, folks! Thank you again to our wonderful guest, the Hilda Guardians of the Galaxy. And thank you to Mr. Zamora and Mr. Tavares for telling us their sweet and sensible stories. Hang on to your seats, folks, because the next segment of our show is Dr. Ernest and his CPR Gang. <laughs>